Hello guys and welcome to Free Bird Stew and welcome to 75 day hard genetic well learning challenge this is day 21 and do you know how to fine tune databricks large language model by using the LORA fine tuning technique in the parameter efficient fine tuning so let's do it with the help of kegel notebooks and their gpu okay so here you can see my kegel notebook here and i just install the necessary libraries first is the data sets that is used to load a kind of a data set from the hugging face repository and then we have need the parameter efficient fine tuning library as well to set up the uh, lora configurations and their parameters and accelerate library as well to train our large language model okay so okay so now here is how you can import all the libraries that is required the first is data sets and the transformers library for their tokenizer bits and byte config training arguments pipeline libraries are necessary for the each step in our model i will explain about them in our further steps okay so okay so very first thing is to load the data set i use the uh, large language model mini instructions data sets here that data set contains a kind of uh, instruction and along with their response as well as if you see here this is a instruction list five reasons why someone should learn to code and this is the five reason that are already added as a response in this whole data set so this data set contains a uh, millions of uh, instructions and uh, responses like that okay so our very first step is to create a prompt based uh, instruction and re uh, response so that we can easily use it to train our uh, large language model or fine tune our large language model by using lora so first i create this prompt template here and this template shows that uh, below is the instruction that describes the task and write the uh, response that appropriately complete the request instruction and then we pass is this instructions to this by using the string formatting technique and then i have the response here as well and when i try to get the instruction and uh, response from this whole small data set into our variables to see that how it actually looks you can see this this is the instruction and these are the five responses that we have now our main thing is to use the string formatting technique to put this instruction into our prompt template so that's how you do it okay as you see i already added the my instruction here and also response can be added as well okay now i just create a simple function here to do all these steps okay it takes the instruction and the response as well and then uh, build the prompt build the answer by using the string formatting technique into the same data set new columns prompt and answer and then i create a new column that is called text and that is a concatenation of the prompt and the answer so in that way my text column in my small data set has this whole thing in the one place okay so now i have the instructions and now i i have the uh, response as well in a particular prompt template that is easy to understand by my large language model while doing the fine tuning okay okay now i just map this whole function to my small data set and now this is how my instruction is look like now okay i have this instruction and i have this uh, responses as well. okay okay now now let's go to uh, download our model i use the databricks dolly v2 3 billion parameter model here and i also take the auto tokenizer from this model and also using the padding token and the end of sentence token as well i use this because i instructing the code to use the tokenizer as the end of sequence token only okay so the what is the end of sequence token it can be full stop it can be exclamation it can be anything so i want that to be used as same as the padding sequence as well so that my all the uh, sentences or all the batches could have the same length for my large language model because if you don't have the same length then your model will not get trained on the uh, data so for to train the data you need your all the batches or all the sequences should have the same length okay so that's why we use the padding and now why just create a auto uh, ml casual model here from the pre trained model and i uh, made that device map auto because i am using this kegel notebook here and if you are 
uh, building it on your own system, you, you can also choose CPU or GPU here. And then I put the load in 8-bit is equal to false because I don't want a quantized model. I want a raw model only. So that's why I make it as a false. And then I also address the data type of my uh, this model that is float 16. And then I resize all the embeddings of this model up to the length of the tokenizer that I have. Okay. Okay. Now this my whole model is now ready. And these are my embeddings that I already here in the uh, row into column section. Okay. Now, our first thing is to pre-process the batch. Okay. Now, we created this data above in the text column. And now, I just take this data from my text column and also assign a maximum length, truncation and padding as well and put it into my tokenizer to tokenize it. Because as you know, in every NLP task, tokenization is the very, very first step. So, I just tokenize it and create a deep copy of my input IDs that I get uh, from the tokenization because you know when you do the tokenization you get the input IDs along with the attention mask and everything as well. So I just create a deep copy and put the input IDs into the labels so that my uh, model would know which word has the which ID while doing the fine tuning. Okay, now I just uh, uh, process this function on my pre-process batch then I have this uh, uh, encoded small data set that I have this created this pre-process batch I put this function here and it is batched and I remove all the column which I don't need because I already create a text column by using the instruction response prompt and answer all these columns I created a text column here so I don't need these columns okay so okay so then I just uh, build a pre-processed data set from my a uh, small dataset function whose input IDs length are less than or equal to max length because I want all of my IDs are of the similar kind of lengths. Okay, then I just do the test print split and then I collect for the data collector for sequence to sequence. This will uh, like make your whole dataset into the batches as a PyTorch dictionary that answers. Okay, because at the end you want to train your a large language model with the help of PyTorch only. Okay, then you want to create a kind of a batch as a dictionary of PyTorch tensors. So this library will do that. You just pass your model, your tokenizer, your maximum length, your padding and along with the padding length. Okay, and then it will just automatically collate your whole data. Okay, then there are the things. You have the instruction source, text, input IDs, attention mask along with the labels. You have all the data ready with you. Now just need to set the LORA uh, configuration. So my first configuration is R. R means the dimension of the low rank matrices. So I set it up to the 256. You can also increase or decrease that based on your uh, requirements. And then I have the alpha. That, that is the scaling factor. That how you want to scale your weight matrices. Okay. Then I have the dropout factor that uh, after how many layers you want to drop some kind of a parameters at the end. And then I just set up all these parameters into my LoRa configuration function here. And this is how it is going to be done. And I also get the get peft model uh, function here as well. And also the prepare model for int 8 training as well. Okay. So this int 8 training means I want to train my uh, uh, this uh, model with the help of integer 8 data types. Okay, then I just pass my whole model into this to prepare my model for the int 8 data types. And then I just pass this model into my uh, get pef function with the LoRa configurations. So to get a full model with their own weights and also my LoRa adapters into that. So now I have this complete model with the LoRa configurations built in it. So it contains approximately 8 crore plus trainable parameters and all parameters are approximately above than 28 crore. Okay. Okay. So now let's train our large language model. Now you have to see this. I just first import the transformers with the training arguments and the trainer in the training arguments. I mentioned all the details about where to store and uh, uh, what is the batch size, how many uh, epochs does it have, I like everything about that. I just mentioned it in that training arguments and in that trainer. 
I just mentioned my model, my tokenizer, my training arguments, my train and test along with the date data collator. Okay, now I have all this. I just now do the training. I just call the function trainer dot train, and then it just train my whole this large language model and save it as a pre-trained model in this uh, GitHub repository as well. Okay, Here you see this? It is already storing in here. Okay. Now you just need to have a API key as well. You can also get that API key from here and it will uh, st starting to uh, fine tune your large language model. It will also show you the training loss and the validation loss as well with each of the epoch. This will going to be down. Okay. I think there is some kind of error is there. Let me see what kind of error is there. Okay. So this error is a kind of thing is no space because of the my uh, Kegel notebook has no enough space to actually fine tune this whole large language uh, model. So that's kind of a error it is. But you guys will know that how this whole model will actually work and how you can fine tune it. And at the end, you can also check this whole process to actually test your prompts as well. As here, I just give him a prompt that uh, list five reasons why someone should learn to cook. Okay. And then I pass my... Uh, model here along with my tokenizer and ask is for to use for a text generation task and then it will generate that is response for you as well okay so i hope you guys completely understand that how you can uh, fine tune your large language model with the help of lora you just need to prepare your data first and then you can set up the lora configurations put it with your model and then just train your model Okay, so this is how you can easily done it. Okay, so in our next video, I will tell you how to fine tune the meta LLAMA2 model with the help of QLORA fine tuning technique. So just be with it. And in our next video, we'll fine tune the LLMA 7 billion parameter model on T4 GPU. Oh right, guys, and if you want to know more about data science, machine learning, financial data analysis as well. You can watch my YouTube videos and also read my blogs on Medium. We'll meet in our next video. Thank guys. Thank you so much.